Welcome back to Limbus Company, Daily Mirror Dungeon. I'm going to do an idea that I'm actually kind of shocked I haven't done, you know, a long time ago. And that's regarding the passive of uh, Ishmael's Blind Obsession. Meredith Voyage. At the end of the turn, apply 5 singing to one other ally with lowest HP. Apply 1 haste and 3 offense level up next turn. Of course, if we did it so that, say, it, we only had two people, Ishmael and Heathcliff, Sunshire Heathcliff to be specific, then the one other ally would always be Sunshire Heathcliff giving him sinking, while at the same time making it so that he, uh, is able to, uh, gain a little bit of haste and offense level up. It's a funny idea, so I'm gonna see how it goes. I re-rolled until I started with Grand Welcome. Hopefully this will give us enough resources that we're actually gonna be fine on that front. I also don't know how smart of a move it was to have Molar Boatworks Ishmael in particular. None of the Ishmaels are, like, that tanky, though, so I think it'll be fine. I guess the most tanky one is probably, like, LCCB or something, but... Still gonna make too big of an issue. And we'll do, some, we'll do this. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Don't know if I've ever used Sun Shower in a duo before. Don't know how well that would, that'll work, but... I don't know. I saw I saw someone point out the passive, like, recently, and I was like, Oh yeah, that actually is a thing that I've completely forgotten about. Of course, because of the Vav Ego, it's a little hard to fuel, so we're gonna need to use, uh... We're gonna need to use Grand Welcome for the sake of that. Hopefully some other Ego gifts that give us some resources. We'll see what we get. Probably shouldn't immediately. I need I need to get back on Suncliff mindset. That being uh do a little countering, do a little bit of that. Looks good enough to me. Oh. I picked up on the mic, that was my dog. Don't worry about that. Uh, we can get some more countering off potentially. I guess we'll get staggered if we do though. Yeah. Probably not then. We can just spend our sinking at this point. But yeah, first blue few floors, we're just gonna work on valent resources. We gotta get like a consistent way to actually be able to build up uh the resources in order to use blind obsession frequently enough on say the final two floors. We'll see how well that goes. Who knows? Good stuff, though. These, these guys should die easy enough. I am a little worried about Ishmael's, like, safety. That is the one thing about this run that I'm uncertain on. And that's because of the fact that, uh... Yeah, I think it's just get through down. Yeah, why not? And that's because of the fact that she's not very tanky. She very well could die. It's gonna depend on how many gifts we get. Oh well. I, I think I think it's a funny idea though to actually see if we can get benefit from Tematrius Voyage. Cause I mean like I think we, we've known about the passive for a while ever since Tokyo Game Show and I don't think it's changed because most of Blind Obsession has changed in Tokyo Game Show. It's very different than what it was like when we uh, first saw it. It was a stupidly powerful ego when it was first shown off because of the first Bob. But it got toned down. But I think the passive was something similar back then. It might have been changed too but I think it was always like give syncing to an ally alongside some buff. And of course, pretty good for Suncliff because he actually benefits from the sinking. We'll have to see what we manage. We'll do this fight and then we get an event, then we get our this shop, and we'll hopefully get some good stuff in the shop. Uh, so, we need for you, we need, yeah, Wrath, Gloom, Pride, and Envy. Which we do all have ways of building up, like, decently. What do we have that doesn't use any of those resources, though? But it's somewhat light. Uh, pretty much everything we have does require like some of those resources pretty notably, though. That's the one unfortunate thing. So if we want to use any ego, we're going to have to spend some of our hard-earned stuff. And unfortunately, Blind Obsession is the only thing that requires pride here. So um, we're not going to make use of the fact we're going to have a stupid amount of pride. Unfortunate. Oh, you need to counter. You're going to get staggered. Uh, you'll be fine. Or surely. Yeah. I missed the stagger bar removal thing, but 
You know, that's how it is sometimes. You're being attacked a fair bit. Could be a time to throw throw in around like a random blind obsession though. Yeah, it's worth a shot. See if we can like maybe just stagger something because I know they resist pierce. Or do they? Yes, they do. They're the pierce resisting ones. Had to check for a second, but yeah, the the ones from the actual like smoke war type area do resist pierce. So it's the ones that don't have like the weird like bramble and stuff that are neutral to pierce. He was staggered at least one of them there, that's good. And you're still alive. You've been staggered now. Yeah, that's going to be the constant issue. We need some good healer with gifts in order to actually not get consistently staggered. Any encounter? Sure. The tails there is nice. It means you get the paralysis next turn. But uh, your HP is not so nice. Hmm. Yeah, things are already not going too swell. You can block that pretty easily. You've got your your thing's gonna be active. You're gonna take a hit. Uh, pretty rude hit, all things considered, but that's fine. With your judgment, it's like some sinking stuff. We do have some sinking infliction stuff, so sinking you gifts could be good as well. But our main focus needs to be stuff that's actually gonna help us survive. And we need stuff that's going to help us build up our ego gift or ego resources. Okay, Ishmael's been staggered again. Okay, you're taking an unavoidable attack. You've got the sinking that you're going to be protected, though, so that's good, at least. Okay, survives, of course, because we're too high of a sanity to get the kill. That's okay, though, because that attack kills. Puddle Stomp is also killing here. It looks like nice. And you take some damage. Very little, though. You do corrode, though, which is really bad for us, potentially. Yeah. Um, because this one... You die. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that one part. Um, because corroded AEDD. Very unfortunately, you went for AED instead of, like, Yasin Yada or something here. But, um, corroded AEDD costs HP to use. So, that's not very good. Yeah. And you're gonna spend HP- yeah, he dies here. Unfortunate. Why are you corroded to this, though? Okay. Maybe I need to reconsider my battle plan. Oh, he doesn't die? Hmm? One HP still? I mean, he kills Ishmael here, if nothing else. So it's not good either way. Can you not die to the ADD's self-damage? Huh? That's interesting, if so. He definitely should have died there. Well, Ishmael is dead. Hmm. This happens every time I try doing, like, a small team, is I kind of just... And it, it's just because I need to actually just reset. I need to, like, be lame and just reset for, like, a good run. But, like, kind of how it is sometimes. Coffee and cream's not great. Okay, give me a minute, then. I have been re-rolling for Grand Welcome for half an hour now. And I still have not gotten it. I've gotten, like, every other Tier 3 a multitude of times. And I have not gotten Grand Welcome yet. Is this going to be it? No. Riveting. And then I gotta do this. Hold expiration. Confirm. Get rewards. Enter. 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 Confirm. That. Disc fragment. Yippee. Let's see. Will I get it this time, maybe? Will I get it, uh... Nope. Unlucky. Didn't even get a chance to roll for a tier 3 there. What about this time? Oh, I do this time. Rusted Cutting Knife. That is not the one I'm looking for. I've gotten that one at least five times now, I believe. Probably more. I haven't been counting, but, uh... You can imagine. I've got plans, but, you know, my plan requires Grand Welcome to work, because otherwise I'm not going to have any source of pride, and I kind of need a lot of pride for this. Oh, okay, three tier threes. Will this be the one? No, it isn't. I've seen at least, like, six 
three to tier three um you gift choices and you know none of the times i've gotten what i wanted riveting the lighter is good but like it's not what i want here so the pride is what i need because the team layout i'm going to be going with is not going to have any pride at all so i need a lot of pride uh income the others i can fund at least somewhat with the team i'm going to be going with because the plan is um i want to try going for with, with um I completely forgot about to attempt slosh mail, but I want to try slosh mail to see if that's going to like give better results. Because that is the tanky Ishmael identity that I completely forgot existed. Wow. Look at that. There's only so many tier 3s, you know? Like, I, I know 3 hours sounds like- or no, not 30 minutes. God, it's not as been 3 hours. My mind's melting from doing this for half an hour. But I know 30 minutes sounds like a long time to just be doing this, and uh, yeah, that's because it is. It really is. If I don't get it soon, I might just, you know, count my losses and, uh, I don't know what that would entail. Sun shower, unfortunate. I've gotten sun shower a lot of times. It's the one I've seen probably the most frequently, which is funny. It would be really good for this joke or for this run if I had it like alongside Grand Welcome, maybe. No, I sh okay. That was a missing, but I meant to do the two tier threes. That's fine. What are the chances that bottom tier three was the one I was looking for? Another sun shower. Nice. Uh. Okay. Riveting. Yep. Yeah. Once again, I'm just include I decided to start recording for at least a little bit because I was driving myself insane and I also only have like maybe like half an hour. So, um if I don't get this soon, I I, I might just straight up like end up running low on time to like actually do the run today. I'm fair I'm fairly busy because of uh my dog and a bunch of other various random things happening around this time, so I don't have a lot of time. One more. We, 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 next time we get a tier 3 will be the final time. I will go insane. Okay, no tier 3s there. The game's scared to give me tier 3 now because it wants me to keep up with this forever. Forever and ever and ever. Okay, that is the eyeball. Alright then. Um, we're going to do the Hell is Chicken normal dungeon then. Not even gonna bother with the hard one this time. We'll take Chad within a flask, sure. Um, preset. What's the preset gonna be? Sure. Really wonder what the joke there was, but I've got no idea. But it's Hell's Chicken Dungeon time. No idea where these are the five sinners I have, but, um... Oh, well. I'll try re-rolling for, um... Grand Welcome, like, tomorrow or something. Try that idea again, because it is a cool idea. And I really, really want to get it off, but I do not have enough time to spend half an hour re-rolling Ego Gifts. Despite the fact I did spend over half an hour re-rolling for Ego Gifts and had no luck, so... You know what? Maybe the game is just telling me, like, no, suffer. I didn't mean to block there. Oh, well. That's fine. I'll have enough time, hopefully, tomorrow. Well, I guess we'll have to see. I, I can re-roll you gifts anytime, like, today. Though. That's the thing. I can do that. I can do that part on my phone, if need be, like, while I'm, like, out and about and busy and stuff, I guess. You know, I'm not, like, without any, like, port. But... A little unfortunate. I guess... What was the joke? Oh, I know what the joke here was. Yeah, I was using the wall Purgis Knight stuff in Hell's Chicken Dungeon for some reason. I was like, wait a second, these are the two new wall Purgis Knight units, and I've got a Merso that I guess technically benefits from uh... regret to some degree? Not like the most, but I think it's the only one that fuels regret decently, so I think that's why I went with him. You got this? We can handle you. And we got one of the events. Let's see which one it's gonna be. 
Ooh, this one. Chicken's chicken, duh. Give me both. So my burn and rupture is really good. Uh, what do we have for either of those? Well, I mean, what, what do you think? Not exactly the most useful eagle gifts, but they're really funny ones at that. So I'll always take the chicken. Wrath Absolute Resonance, why not? I wonder how well this. I wonder how strange this video is going to feel to anyone like actually like watching it. I'm sure it's like really strange, but like it's also very strange to me who you know just wanted to do a funny idea and then the game said no. I can probably finish this in like a 20 minute period though, so I'm not too concerned. I won't run out of time. Hopefully. It's the Hell's Chicken dungeon. What's the worst thing? We're do also doing Hell's Chicken normal dungeon because I'm just feeling a little insane. It's nice and relaxing, I guess. Closest thing to Mirror Dungeon 1 we have. Rest in peace, Mirror Dungeon 1. You will be missed. Rest in peace, Mirror Dungeon 2 as well. You will be missed, but this is closer to Mirror Dungeon uh, 1 than anything because you got the level up stuff going on. Well, close to the old me, that's the one, I suppose. You got the fact that we don't start with the ability to, to equip... I think we, we do start with the ability to click VOBs, but we start without the ability to equip ALF, I think. I think they changed it for some reason, so that in Hell's Chicken Dungeon, you can equip VOBs by default, but you need to be leveled up to equip ALF. Which is very strange of a change to make. But, I mean, they sure did make it. So, you know, lucky for you, you get to run with Sun Shower and, uh... Why did that the hell's chicken? <sighs> Tired. Didn't get enough sleep last night. As it be sometimes. As it be. Okay, Basie Song is doing his best. Okay. He, I mean, I guess he did do his best. He did a little better than I was expecting him to. You know, fair enough then. My bad for underestimating you, gamer. Gamer Yisung. What do you think of, like, this dungeon? <sighs> Another on. There's no, like, shops. There's no cost. There's nothing like that, because there was nothing like that in Mirror Dungeon 1 back in the, back in the old days. Back in the times when the grind was even worse, when the battle pass took forever to actually to get anywhere. I played like dozens upon dozens of it and just got to and you could you do dozens of runs and end up getting to like maybe like battle pass level like twenty from that. Like you know, it was a very slow grind back then. Nice how it's been uh fed up. Significantly. To the point where it's oh, getting even getting to like level 120 on the battle pass nowadays is like about as easy as it was to get to level like 15 on the original battle pass before they made the changes to speed it up. Like it's insane. So part of that is the fact that like you just gain more things in general. Mirror Dungeon gives you more battle pass experience. Mirror Dungeon 2 gave even more more battle pass experience. Mirror Dungeon 2 Hard gave even more 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 battle pass experience. Like, so much has changed since then, and it's made it the grind significantly more bearable. Now you can pretty realistically clear the battle pass in, like, three weeks. Like, even just doing, like, the weekly Mirror Dungeon 3 hard, like, you'll get 22 and a half levels each week. You throw it on top of doing, like, daily, doing weekly challenges, that sort of stuff. And then doing like a couple Mirror Dungeon 3 normal runs every once in a while. Like, it'll take, it takes no time at all to get the max battle pass level. Like, I'm already battle pass level, like, what, 610 or something? It's a little silly. But that's just kind of how it is, like, thanks to the power of, uh, the funny.
Nice, getting some staggers off. Those two are staggered, so we should be able to kill them pretty easily here. Yeah, this was the risky count of those two waves. So that's why it's seven. I was like, that fight's been taking a while, but yeah, it's because of the, the two wave one. I've genuinely been like autopiloting so hard right now while I've just been talking about stuff. It's one of those, you know, per turn brain off run kind of days. As it goes sometimes. Well, look forward to tomorrow's run where I hopefully actually do the thing with the blind obsession passive. That'll be fun, probably. But for now, we're just gonna beat Papa Bongi to death and we're gonna feel great about it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Effie. Rest in peace, Effie. New announcement soon is gonna be cool. That's like a day away, basically, right? It's Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Time is weird. Yeah, it's cool. I will be streaming the Multiverse Night event when it happens, in case you want to see me uh, suffer in the gambling, the, the dens of gambling. You know, that'll be that'll be cool. More damage on these guys. This is the last normal fight we have to do because we get a uh, normal event after this and then we get the boss. We get to kill Papa Bongi. Well, I guess I have killed a fair bit of times in recent memory just thanks to the fact that he is in Mirror Dungeon 3. I feel like I like never get him in actual like videos though. I feel like I almost only get him in uh, my own personal grinding sessions. I don't know why though. That's just the feeling I get. Don't know if it's actually true. I do not have the heart to go and count every time I fought Papa Bongi in these episodes. Although that is a funny idea. I guess. Victory. And we'll level up Heathcliff. That means Yusung's going to be the only one at level 15. That's fine. Take a break. Give me that, sure. And it's Baba Blongy time. And one of the other mid-chapters I've done, the funny dungeon. I guess it is very grindy having to do it a bunch of times, but it was cool, too. See, as per usual, the plan is really simple. Um, well, I don't even have Regret equipped, so the Wolf Herges Knight team is a little jank. It might have been like that when I was doing it the first time around, though. I think I might have just messed up like to that degree before. I wouldn't be shocked. What are you going for? Heathcliff? Can you clash that? Maybe. Maybe it's good enough for me. I'd like to kill that guy. That'll just good damage, I think. Because the hat one gives protection to everyone, so that's always the first priority. And the bag of the actual chicken man of, of Bob Bongi revives Bongi's when they die, so we also want to deal with that pretty quickly. This is why I only clash very selectively here. You don't, you're not quite dead, unfortunately. That's fine. We'll kill you next turn then. 15 HP. So you're going to give protection to everyone next turn, but we can handle that, I think. It was like a base Heathcliff kind of gaming. He's a gamer like that. He, with all the gaming stuff he's doing right there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, not doing a lot to the bucket because we didn't do it like slash text, but the bucket should be staggerable. And the bucket's not even gonna attack this turn because we didn't kill any of that bong easy yet. Oh, you're staggered. Logical enough. Oh, you actually no, you died to the um. Well, you still gave the protection to everyone, unfortunately, but you did die to the the what's it called the ego gift, the scarlet moth. We can't check ego gifts in this dungeon. The one that the one that does less damage to people. That one. You know the one. Work. Well, okay, that's good. We're going all in on the bucket, but that's because, like, this is normal difficulty, Pabangi. I just want to kill him and, you know, 
Everything should be fine from that point on. Yep, there goes the chicken bucket. You're attacking him a little bit. He's fine. And now you can no longer spawn any minions, so we can just do a little bit of whoop. Um, the only slash mask deck we have. Fine by me. I'm throwing like a pursuance too. Yeah, okay, that'll that, this will work. This will work wonders, I believe. Fourth match flame, one of the strongest mass attacks in the game, of course, as everyone knows. 20 on max roll, that's a pretty good roll. 12 to 20 for a 3 target mass attack. 5 target if you upside, I guess. Shouldn't, you know, crash on it too hard, of course. I would never. Ooh. That's unfortunate. You resist it, at least, but you're still getting staggered here. And you're blocking the pursuance. We can at least kill your little minions here. And your little dog too. Um. Yeah, it's just Bob Wong left. As you'd expect. So we can just auto damage. Really gives a good sense as to, you know, the, the mood I'm in. I'm just, yeah, let's just auto damage this guy to death. Oh wow. Well. Cleanse this guy of his sins. And he's not been cleansed of his sins yet. Unfortunate. He's still unable to do anything, though, so we just kill him. There we go. Victory. Love to see it. Confirm. I get, like, nothing from that, of course, because it's, you know, the pop-up. It's the health chicken dungeon. It doesn't give anything, and that's fine. It's daily extraction time anyways. Okay. You know, I beat that with 8 minutes to spare. I could have done the hard dungeon then, but, um, you know, sometimes you need something a little easy to just kind of calm your nerves. Getting a little sick. I'll be, I'll be in a better state tomorrow, but, you know, sometimes we just have off episodes. You know how it is. You know how it is, I think, hopefully. Yeah, you were not the focus of this time. You will be in time, though, I guess... You were the focus, in all things considered. Yeah, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next, hopefully more sensible video. Bye.